welcome everyone today in this session we are going to talk about the p chart the p chart is a type of control chart used to monitor the proportion of non conforming units in a sample a non conformity is a deviation from our set specification or standard or expectation so non conformity can be referred to as defect today we are going to plot p chart in excel spss and minitab now let's open excel suppose a factory produces switches they produce hundreds of thousands of switches every day so it's basically impossible for them to check every switch for defect now what can they do they take a batch of 150 switches every hour and write down the number of non conformities that is number of defective switch in each batch suppose they took a sample of 20 batch each batch containing 150 switches and write down the defective number of items in this column here you can see sample fraction non conformities <laughs> which equals to number of non-conforming units by sample size that is 150 let's fix this cell now copy the sample fraction non-conformities along this column now we can find the sample fraction on conformities of all the samples in this row sorry column now we have to calculate the p bar which is the average of sample fraction on conformities so let's put the formula average of these cells we have found the p bar or usual equals to p bar that is 0 0.02 let's copy the value now we have to find the usual let's take a look at the formula our sample size is fixed so we are going to use the second formula uh, according to the fixed sample size formula control limits are p bar plus minus 3 into root over of p bar into 1 minus p bar by n now put this formula in this cell p bar equals to C twenty three plus three into square root of P bar into one minus P bar by our sample size. That is 150. Let's close the bracket and fix the P bar cell. Now we have found the UCL. Let's copy the value of UCL along this line. For the LCL, we can copy the formula from the UCL column let's copy it and paste it equal replace the plus sign with minus that is our LCL value now we copy the value in all the cells here you can see our value LCL value is negative basically 
the number of defective items is always greater than zero so we can set zero as our lcl limit e power lcl value is negative as all the lcl values are negative we will put zero in all the row now select this column sorry now select this column and this column and lcl reversed column insert line to d line you can see we have found the p chart for this problem this is how we can plot a p chart in excel now let's open mini tab uh, before opening mini tab i can copy the non number of non conformities so that we don't have to put it again let's select this cell and paste the values for mini tab go to stat control chart attribute chart p chart input c on column as variable define subgroup sizes that is 150 click ok as you can see we can easily plot the p chart in mini tab without going through all the hassles of calculating data manually in 9 number sample and 17 number sample the process is out of control is marked by red sign now open the SPSS SPSS new data set in SPSS select this column and select this cell and click on paste with variable names go to analyze quality control control charts attribute chart in p chart cases are subgroups define number of non conforming units that is select this column sample size 150 control rules select all control rules click ok here you can see our SPSS control chart let's compare the control chart of three programs you can see the control charts are fairly similar thank you everyone for watching this video i hope you have learned something from useful from this video